Hey everyone, in this video, we will see how you can copy files or folders to all computers using a GPO. There are several scenarios for when you would need to copy one or multiple files to select computers or all computers in a domain of an Active Directory network. GPOs can come in handy here. Here's how you can do it. First, you will have to create a shared network folder and then copy all the files that you want to be copied to all domain computers into the folder. Then, you will have to ensure that the authenticated users group has been given permission to access the folder. To check that, right-click on the shared network folder and select Properties. Select the Security tab. Under the Groups or User Names section, check to see if the authenticated users group is present. Now to create the GPO, go to Server Manager, then click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. In the left pane here, navigate to the domain on which you want the policy to be applied. Right-click on the domain container and click Create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Enter a name for the GPO and click OK. Back in the Group Policy Management window now, right-click on the GPO that was just created and click Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window that pops up, navigate to User Configuration, Preferences, Windows Settings, and then Files. In the right pane, right-click on the empty pane and select New and then File. In the window that pops up, under the Actions section, select the Create option. If you are replacing or updating an existing file, select Replace or Update respectively. Under the Source File section, mention the location of the file you want to copy. Under the Destination Folder section, mention the location where you want the file to be copied. I'm going to copy the files on the computer's desktop, so I'm typing percent sign desktop dir percent sign backslash, and done. To know a little more about this process and how to copy the files only to specific computers, check out our article in the description right below the like button, and also make sure to subscribe for more such videos. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.